Hey, Rick here at MathLite. And uh, the thought today is the thought of getting your students to answer on the count of three. Say, what does that mean? Well, well, here's the thought. I was doing this today in my classroom. been doing it for many years. Uh, what I do is in our math class, oftentimes I'll give them a problem and I'll have them work the problem at their desk. And what I'll want them to do then is at the end, I'll want them to give me the answer on the count of three. You know, it does a lot of things by having them answer on the count of three. Uh, one, it fosters participation. You know, as teachers, we want our students to be thinking, and it's important in math that they think. And I never want to get into the situation where students only think about a question once I call upon them. I want them thinking about every question I ask. So I routinely will say, hey, on the, on the count of three, give me your answer. Could be to a problem you just worked. It could be to just a, a fill-in-the-blank type answer. But it fosters thinking, and thinking is so important. So that's one thing about, hey, class, give me your answer out loud on the count of three. Of course, it fosters participation. And, you know, we want our kids to participate. We want everybody to be involved. I don't know, you might be like me. If uh, 19 out of the 20 students are paying attention, I'm concerned about that 20th student. He needs to pay attention as well. And so it fosters participation. But, you know, there's a couple other advantages of getting them to answer on the count of three. Another advantage is this. Some students are just shy. And, you know, I don't know about you, but I try not to call on a, on a student that's shy because they may not have that correct answer, and I don't want to embarrass them. But by having everyone answer on the count of three, I can tune my ear that person's way and make sure that they certainly do understand like everybody else. Then not only the shy student, but how about that student that struggles? And we all have them. They struggle in our math class. And I never want to call on that student if they don't know the correct answer because that will just make their struggles even worse. But if I can get them to answer with the rest of the class on the count of three, I can tune my ear their way and also hear their response. And you know, I have fun with it. I'll say on the count of three, and sometimes I'll do it in Spanish. Today I did it in German, and they never heard counting to three in German. Uh, I tried French. But it's the point is, we're getting them to participate. We're getting them to think. We're taking care of the shy student. We're taking care of the student that doesn't perform very well. And then lastly, as a teacher, I can tune my ear to those students that I really need to and find out where they're at as well. And we also get a general idea of where the whole class is. Hey, if you hear all kinds of different answers, you didn't teach that very well. But if you hear a unified answer, hey, that must have, I must have taught that well because they understood you're ready to go on. It's a simple little thing, but it can really help a lot having your students answer on the count of three. Hey, it's something I enjoy doing, and I hope it's something you might be able to incorporate in your classroom. We're here at MathLite, and we're just trying to be a help to you.